Um, my name is Russell Meehan, uh, aka Quebec. I'm a street artist from Manchester. My business is called Mural Life MCR and I facilitate murals around Manchester and workshops as well, working with young people and adults. Generally, I'm uh, commissioned to paint pieces all around Manchester and around Britain as well. A few years ago, uh, Judy and John from the, uh, the Civic Society uh, got in touch with me to, um, to see if I could paint this mural behind us under the bridge here and they they came with quite a lot of information quite a lot of um, interesting points about Didsbury uh, what's happened here and people that have actually done notable things in this area as well so I, I work with them to kind of put all this information in you know in, in the mural and, and figure out how we were going to do it how the composition was going to work basically the first person we painted was uh, Emily Williamson who is one of the founders of the RSPB. Now she lived in Didsbury from 1855 till 1936. So she was one of the co-founders of the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds. Uh, the reason why they started this was because a lot of the birds at the time were, were being, uh, their plumes were being plucked and put into uh, ladies' hats, basically. So they, they thought that obviously that was very cruel. So they started the charity to try and protect the birds. Um, so she lived at the Croft on uh, in Fletcher Moss Gardens, uh, which is near the tennis courts with her husband, Robert, in 1889. Um, and she formed the Society for the Protection of Birds. On the left-hand side of her, we painted the, uh, the great crested uh, grebe. Um, so you'll be able to see that to the left-hand side of her. And that was one of the main birds that they actually took the feathers out of uh, to, um, to decorate the hats. So yeah, she, you know, they were hunted to near extinction, basically. And they managed to, to turn all of this around You'll notice on some of the other parts of the mural, there are some blue tits. Uh, I added them because of my research about Fletcher Moss um, and the gardens and the, and the park. So, you know, blue tits are, are one of the native species that live here. And I thought that'd be quite nice that, you know, that we've got the, um, the birds um, all kind of like on this side of the mural, basically, to kind of show the, the nature in the place where we are and also the birds that the she protected. So to the right of Emily Williamson, we have uh, Louis Paul Hans biplane. Uh, on April the 28th, 1910, he flew from London to Manchester, a competition organised by the Daily Mail. He landed in Cloverfield, close to Fog Lane. Paul Han Road, uh, just off Parswood Road and Brayside Road was named to commemorate the event. The Daily Mail put a reward or a, uh, a prize of £10,000 out to the first person that would fly from London to Manchester and he, he was the winner. So, you know, we, got, we put the plane in the middle of the mural um, and that's just kind of in between Daniel Adamson and the ship canal. We've got a boat in the background to represent the ship canal as well. So Daniel Adamson was the next person that I painted. Um, so he lived in Didsbury uh, from around 1820 to 1890. So he was an engineer um, and he was one of the people that actually funded the Manchester Ship Canal. The decision to build the canal was signed in the lodge at the Towers in Didsbury on the 27th of April, 1882. And then to the right of Daniel Adamson, we have the, the, uh, we have the, uh, the plaque, which is on Simon's Bridge, uh, which crosses the River Mersey, linking Didsbury to Northenden. So um, before this existed, the only means of crossing were the bridge on Manchester Road near Waterside Hotel and the bridge in Northenden. I've crossed Simon's Bridge many a time before and I never realised that this, this information actually existed. It's, uh, it's quite a famous crossing going over the Mersey, especially from Chalton Meadows um, over to the other side there. So the bridge was gifted to the people of Didsbury by Henry Simon and he lived here from 1835 to 1889. Uh, he was the founder of Simon Engineering uh, and Simon's Way in Wivenshaw is named after him. Uh, so following the death of Charles Halle, he helped to ensure the future of the Halle Orchestra and he lived at Lawnhurst, which is next to Barlow Medical Centre. Along with that, I painted, uh, we added some worker bees as well. So the worker bee is obviously the, uh, the symbol of Manchester, which a lot of people know about. Um, I'm quite well known for painting bees in Manchester as well. It's something that I always love to do. It's a nice connection to the city, nice image for people to actually see you know, uh, buzzing around the walls of Manchester. So that really goes well with the, the flora and fauna as well that we added. So as I mentioned, you know, I, I, 
I looked at a lot of the flora and fauna from Fletcher Moss Park and, and I added that within all of the other elements of this side. So yeah, along with all of the other stuff, you'll see the bees flying around and settling on the flowers in the mural as well. So yeah, like all together, you know, all of these images I've tried to, I've tried to kind of, you know, copy and paste together and try and find some balance with the, uh, with the, the composition basically. So you've got the two portraits and then all of the other imagery that kind of represents the people on the mural and, uh, and this area in general. Alderman Fletcher Moss, um, who lived from 1843 to 1909, was unhappy that Didsbury did not have a library and approached Andrew Carnegie to fund the building of one for the people of Didsbury. The library, now a Grade II listed building, was designed by Henry Price, Manchester City architect at the time, and was opened in 1915 with a golden key. Carnegie also funded Chalton Library and Withington Baths, as well as around 660 other Carnegie libraries in the United Kingdom and Ireland. So to the left of Carnegie, um, the next portrait that I started was uh, the one of Margaret Ashton. So she lived from 1856 to 1937 and she was the first female councillor in Manchester, uh, representing Manchester, Withington, and a member of the Education Committee. Uh, her portrait should have been hung in the council chamber, but the male members of the council passed a law to prevent this. As a consequence, she resigned. The portrait was found and restored several years ago and is now in safe storage until the reopening of Manchester Town Hall in 2024. She was chair of child welfare and promoted free milk for mothers and babies, founding the Manchester Babies Hospital in 1914 and living on Kingston Road. After I finished that portrait, I moved over to the right hand side in the final portrait of the, uh, of the mural and I started painting Dame Kathleen Olleranshaw. So she lived from 1912 to 2014. Uh, she was a granddaughter of the founder of Wivenshaw Shoe Factory. Uh, she was deaf from the age of eight and she became an eminent mathematician and leading expert on the magic number lattices. She was Lord Mayor of Manchester from 1975 to 1976 and High Sheriff of Greater Manchester from 1976 to 1979. In 1970, she received the title of Dame of her contribution to the field of education. She lived at Broom House on Wilmslow Road. Along with um, these three portraits on this side of the bridge, on the right hand side, I managed to get some graphene in there, which was invented here in Manchester. Also, I managed to get a reference to Fletcher Moss Ranges in there as well. So Fletcher Moss is like a, is a, a filter team almost to, that, that, produced, uh, that has produced some amazing football players, including Marcus Rashford. Also, uh, to the left of Carnegie, I managed to get the, uh, the famous Milson Rhodes clock in, uh, which you'll see as you come through uh, Didsbury Village. 